It's been just over 30 days since I began my shrimp breeding experiment. If you missed the first video in this series, I began dosing powdered food every single day in an attempt to improve baby survival in this tank. I started with 30 adult shrimp. Where are we now? What you're seeing now is what this tank looked like 30 days ago when I started this experiment. The duckweed had barely colonized the surface, the guppy grass was just beginning to establish, and this Indian almond leaf was looking fresh. The shrimp were all doing great, except for the babies. They just weren't surviving. 30 days later, we can see that a lot has changed. The duckweed has absolutely covered the surface. In fact, I've had to remove a ton of it. I put an airline tubing ring floating on the surface so that I could have sort of a barrier from the duckweed so I could do maintenance in the tank without getting it all over my hands. The duckweed had not shown much growth over the last year, but all of a sudden it's just exploded and I'm certain it's related to the amount I'm feeding. I also added a small clump of java moss in the back right for the babies to hide in, as well as a tiny bit of siswas or tongue near the front. The guppy grass is showing a lot of no growth as well, growing out in every direction. And our Indian almond leaf is nearly a skeleton of what it once was. The shrimp and the copepods have been munching on it. Alright, I know what y'all are thinking. So the plants are doing well, but how are the shrimp? The shrimp population, I'm happy to say, has exploded. I mean, there are countless babies in this tank. It's hard to do the population justice on camera, but I see babies just about everywhere. I look at the filter and they're all over it. I look in the sand, they're all over it. Up in the duckweed, they're clinging onto it. I mean, the guppy grass is just covered in them. Uh, the glass itself is covered in babies, so um, it's, it's just been amazing. The results have been fantastic. One batch of these babies is a few days old, I, and then the other is 17 days old. So on the 13th, I actually saw the mother kick the babies out in the java moss, um, and those ones are starting to gain their color. And in a couple weeks, they should be juvenile size, so it'll be a lot easier to film and give an idea of just how many there are in this tank. I think it's definitely too early to celebrate, but as it stands right now, I think in another 30 days this tank will be filled with healthy juvenile shrimp. I estimate that there are close to 50 babies in the tank right now, and given the tank conditions, I would expect more than 90% to make it to adulthood. I think that this tank will soon be overrun by hundreds of shrimp. So a little bit about the logistics of overfeeding as I'm doing in this experiment. I've been testing the water in this tank every day, and have not registered any ammonia. Prior to this experiment, I was registering zero nitrates at any given time, but since I increased the feeding, I'm staying around five nitrates. The plants have been doing an amazing job of keeping the nitrates in check, but I just wanted to clarify for anyone watching this that might want to try this, if you do not have plants in your tank, this very well might cause an ammonia spike and you might kill your entire colony, so just be really careful and take things slowly. It's also worth noting that I had a few adult shrimp die during this process. I believe that it's purely coincidence and is related to the age of these shrimp. Um, some of them are well over a year old. I checked the water hardness and the ammonia levels after each death just to be sure and determined that everything was nearly perfect. Ammonia was never above zero. Sometimes I was testing multiple times a day just to be sure. Um, and the GH was at seven and the KH was around five. So, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty pretty good water parameters, um, and I think it's inevitable that adult shrimp will die over time, and luckily there are countless babies in the tank now to take their place. So with the 30-day update out of the way, what is the future of this experiment going to look like? Well, I'm going to continue this experiment for another 70 days, and potentially for the foreseeable future if the results remain so positive. I mean, I might continue to feed like this forever if things go well. I'm going to update you all regularly concerning this tank and would love to hear your thoughts down below. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed and want to see the future of this tank. My goal is to hit 100 subscribers by March. Thank you guys so much for watching and happy shrimp keeping.